Good morning, friends. I am going to do something a little bit different. Um, if you're new here, I'm Laura, and I'm hoping that the music is not being picked up. Um, I'm going to turn it down maybe a click more. Um, if you want to listen along to what I'm playing, because this is going to be a long video, um, the only time you'll see me stopping is if I'm getting up to get more beads or supplies. I'm just going to bead whatever I have. I was cleaning off my desk and came across these. So this is probably going to be my first um, project. Right now I am listening to Jelly Roll. I am not okay. So um, I do have um, bits and pieces here on my bead mat. Um, leftover from yesterday so um, I'm going to get rid of some of this um, we have these piece um, things here we're going to put them on earrings um, that'll be project number one I'm just going to go through and um, I think we're going to put them on and it's funny, I don't have a whole lot of uh, eye pins. So we're just going to have to, um, when I come to eye pins, I'm probably going to have to make my eye pins. But we're going to make these easy right up through the bottom. Um, I do kind of want to put some sort of bead on the top how about I don't know how those would look we'll go ahead I have two of these laying right here um yeah I'm not sure I think we'll just go for it we'll go for it why not or do I want to put them on the bottom We'll find out here in a second. So, um, this is just what I'm doing. I am going through and playing music. Uh, you're going to bead with me. I don't know. What do you think, guys? Top or bottom? I like it on the bottom. And then we'll put something different on the top. Um, And um, let's use these little square crystal things. I have a couple here that are close in color. Um, and there we go. Let me pause you a second. Okay, I went and got some silver tone ear wires. I'm going to pinch off about to there. And I want my better cutters. I'm just going to cutters. Good grief. Not those. These. A little shorter. about there I'm going to roll a small loop right now I'm listening to Louis um, Capaldi and someone you used to love and we're just going to make a loop and then we're going to close that up. Making sure that my pin is all the way up. Cutting my excess off.
What kind of music do you listen to? I will close these up when I put them on the ear wires. I don't know if this, this one's not open far enough to actually do that with. So I'm just going to go ahead and close it up. They like to roll away when you have a hard time holding them. So this is to see how many I can make. What kind of items I can pull out of my stash. I like pretty much a little bit of everything except for some of this new stuff that um, is degrading to people um, that talks about harming and that kind of thing. I do not listen to that junk. Um, there's some that, you know, I used to listen to some of their music until they became very, I don't know. So there is the first pair. Let's pull out, I have a whole bunch of, in this one, I still have some of these plus this. This is all bargain bee box stuff. Let's see what we can make out of here. Oh, you know what? I know what I want to do with these. I'm saving these and we'll set it aside. I know what I want to do with that and maybe those with it. All right, so we have this. We have these. Those are, nope, they are drilled through. Um, let's see what we got here. Oh, we got these green ones. We can make a bracelet. I still haven't done anything with that stone. It's so thick. So this is the Woodland Whimsy. Those. Huh. There's those leaves. Yellow. I just really wasn't into this box, guys. You know, we, we can make a bracelet. Put those together. Let's make a bracelet. Um, I'm not using the snowflake charm. See, some of these are November and some are December. What do we got in here? Oh, we've got these two. And we have some mustard colored. Okay. Let's work with that and make a bracelet. And I want those set aside for something else. And we're working with gold, so let's get this out. Let's make us a bracelet, see how big we can go. Um, how about some Ed Sheeran? And this is going to be perfect. So if you're um, listening along with me, you can pull up music. So I'm going to pull off. Do I have enough to do two strand? I don't know, guys. I think we'll just make a single strand. So I'm measuring with my heart. Beautiful and sweet. So we have that. I'm going to get um, let's go with these and there's the those and We have those. I need the pliers to get them open. I always do. Mm. 
listening to our favorites. I cannot sing. I'm sorry, guys. I'll shut up. Okay. So I'm going to clip this in because I don't know what we're going to do with this. Let's fill these out. So we have some Autumn Jasper. We have some 8mm faceted. We have some spacer beads. And then we have a Crackle Agate and Goldenrod. Um, I kind of want to make a focal with these in the center of the bracelet. That one don't have any AB on it. So there's going to be our focal. Get some spacers out here. It must be open because there's one laying there. There we go. Do I want a spacer here? Find out here in a second. I think so. Let's do some autumn jasper. Oh, I like how that's going to look. And let's throw in there are some lighter tones and some darker tones. I kind of want some of the lighter. So let's go with that. Oh yeah, that's good. That is really nice. So let's go with one of these, one more of these, and then let's go ahead and put on one, two, how much does that give me so far? Dead center there. Gives me almost three inches. So I think I'll go... I have no clue what happened there. Um, we're going to go one more of these. It cut that song right off in the middle. One, two, let's measure. Um, I don't know. We'll have to take this out. Put one of these on. And a metal spacer. Let's do that. Let's see how much that measures out to from the center. Just under three inches. Let's turn it around. Isn't this terrible? Learning, you know, beating on the fly, trying to decide what will go and what won't. Okay. Now, can we keep it? Good. All right. So I got to repeat that. I'm going to switch this to here. 
And let's see. I'm going to find something different. I thought I had already pressed start, but I didn't. Um, I have on Tracy Chapman. Uh, give me one good reason. Well, give me one reason. I love Tracy Chapman. One. Two. A yellow bead. And then we're going to put on one. With these um, odd shaped beads, it might actually like, you know, be different sizes. to a spacer and then whoops where's your little hole dude there you are one and two let's go ahead and measure this So it is just over six inches, which is perfect. Let's go ahead and crimp this end. We're going to put a clamshell on. And I know I laid the crimp tubes right there. I'm going to get a couple of these out. Just going to put it on there and bring it up close to the end. I'm going to take my flat nose pliers. I'm going to squish, squish, make sure it's on there. Pull up, close it, make it sure it's shut, and squeeze. I'm going to push this all the way down, get my hair out of there. I'm going to open this one all the way up. Well, not all the way. I'm going to open it wide so I can get in there my pliers, drop it all the way down. Make sure that this is going to be curved. I'm going to put some weight on it. I'm going to go down through, take my, you can see how this is landing here, kind of crooked. I'm going to change that bead to one that goes square. Let's see how you land. Okay, much better. It would not, um, fit properly the way that bead was. There we go. Now let's go ahead and close that. We're going to squish that crimp tube. I'm pulling. It's on there tight. We're going to go ahead and why am I grabbing the wrong things? I need to get those two things out of my way. Cut the extra wire off. Close it. And I'm going to... I thought I had a bigger jump ring out. I did not get a bigger jump ring out. There we go. Oh. 
open. I close. The thicker jump ring. Open. And you definitely want to make sure that these are closed tightly and all the way because the, uh, you may have to get a different jump ring. I don't like the way this one's acting. Um, That one's pretty thin. Just go with a good heavy one. It's going to make this about a seven and a quarter inch bracelet. Because it was about a six and a half. And I'm adding... about an inch to it. So about a seven and a half inch bracelet. So there's project number two. I'm going to clean this up. Okay, so when I put those beads away, I got out, because they're in the same container, the GGC's, um, some of the leftovers. In the video that goes out today, you're going to see that I was like, gosh, I, w I wish I had beads to go with this pendant. So I'm using some of the GGC's crimp uh, clamshells. I think these would be great along with these water drop beads. And these beads are, drill are top drilled. So they would, you know, Lay like this along the necklace. And I think they would be gorgeous with these with that pendant. Let me get them out here. Let's get and I'm listening to Tracy Chapman again, baby. Can I hold you? If you guys are following with the music I'm listening to. Gosh, I love this. And I'm just going to go right on up this necklace as far as I can go with the blue beads. And I think I'm going to put, and those are the, um, I'm going to have one left over, but that's okay. Those are the London Blue Agates. And I'll just drop it down in there for now. I am going to need, yes, I'm going to need a bale. Here we are, gold bales. There we go. And I want to put seed beads between these so that they lay correctly. So I have my gold seed beads right here and we're putting it on the blue um, whatever you call it, <laughs> on the blue beading wire. And I'm going to get me a good size chunk. Like I said, I always 
good enough. I'm going to cut that off. And I'm going to clip one out. Well, I know how I'm going to beat it. So I think I'll go ahead and use a clamshell. And I do have crimp beads out here, but I don't know where they went right at the moment. Quicker to just get some out. And this will have chain at the back of the neck. Make sure it's on there tight. Pull it up, close it. I'm gonna straighten it up just a little bit. There we go. I'm gonna get out some of these. And I think I'm gonna just start by putting on that out of the way. I think I'll put on two. And then I think we're going to need two between because this is a pretty big bead. I'll try one and see how it lands. Come on, little dudes. Nope, I think one will be perfect. So let's go ahead and string this. This won't take long at all. And yes, in case you're wondering, I'm mixing metals. I love how that's looking. And I may change it. I'm kind of sitting here thinking I'm going to be using gold. Everything else. I may change that out. We'll see when I get to the end if I decide to change that. I'm seriously considering it. I usually try to keep like, you know, as many of the same products as possible, but you know, I'm just using what I've got. So I am going to put one, looks like three for that to ride on, two, three, come on, thank you, putting three on, putting this on over top of it. And actually it only needed two, so we'll take one back off. The next one of these. This one is so pretty. Look at that bead. Whoops, almost forgot to put a bead on.
I know I have my hands in the way all the time. I'm sorry. I am going to count to make sure I have the same amount. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Okay. And you know what? I will use the gold. Hold on. Okay. So we're back. I've got the gold ends on. And we're ready to put the bail on the pendant on the bail. I'm going to use a five millimeter. This lets it swing. This isn't so thick, but the end of the bale really is. And I want this to have plenty of movement. A four millimeter bale or jump ring is quite small. So, um, you know, you really want something that will allow it to move. And I'm listening to Sinead O'Connor. And there is this, and then we're going to, I've already measured this, this is eight inches. I'm going to um, measure out the chain. There's my clasp. So I need 10 inches, and then we're gonna have, obviously we're gonna have jump rings. So this is part of it. I've got a length of chain here that I need to use up that fell out of a package. So we're going to lay this out here, and I'm going to measure 10 inches. So we've got six to there. And there's 10 inches. I'm going to cut it. And I'm going to see how much chain I actually have here. So it is six, nine inches. So I'm going to cut four and a half inches. Just a little shy of four and a half. And I'll tell you why I do that. The shorter end will get the lobster clasp. And the longer end gets the jump ring and all that. Because the lobster clasp takes up more space than just the jump ring. Let's go ahead and put this together. This way, when you put it together, the lobster clasp and, um, oops, I forgot to take that little piece of chain off. Come on off there, little dude. Okay, it's gone. Um, the lobster, you know, where you clasp it will lay right in the center of your neck instead of off to the side. And it won't slide around as much. Come on, I know you go over that. I've been using these forever and amen. I did use the right size, right? 
Yes. And I'm going to go ahead and put the clasp on the jump ring that the lobster will clasp in two. Now I think I have to use, <sighs> this is the one thing I don't like about this chain from Walmart is getting those bits off. I don't remember if I have to use a, I think this one, yeah, this one still goes in. I think too much thicker than that, you struggle. That's closed. Let's get that out of our way. We'll shut that off. We don't need to hear an ad. Checking my ends. Nothing to have to take off. Oh, did you see that? I closed that up without putting my chain on. I bet y'all were like screaming. If there's anybody left still watching at this time, I appreciate you so much. I know there's a lot of people that just look at the picture and you're like, oh, how pretty, you know. And they don't watch the videos. <laughs> and I appreciate those that comment, oh, how pretty, but they've actually watched it. And I, I appreciate you very much. And then we're going to put the lobster on. I do not know how long this has taken. And there is another complete piece. I feel like I've been out here forever. I love this piece. And of course, there we go. Very, very pretty. I did add more of the uh, seed beads at the end. Very pretty. I love that piece. Really? Only 39 minutes? Ah, well, let's keep going. I'm going to pause you and get more beads. Okay, so I have this one again. And I was looking at these, and they're all over in here. And I was thinking, bracelet, and of course we've got these, I don't know how they look together, they don't, <laughs> they do not. Let's just make a bracelet maybe with those. I don't know, guys. Um, we have some, an array of bead caps and spacer beads. But we need some color. How would they look with that purple? Ooh, yeah, let's go for it. I'm going to pull out the same purple I used before. And 
and use them. And I think we have some of these little bees. I think I might make a focal or something with them. I'll get out a couple of them. Let's just see what we can do with this. Here we go. This is my palette. We have these sea foam faceted. We have a few of these little purple faceted. We have a couple of bees out here and some spacers and a few of these. I don't know how many I grabbed. There's just like a few. Looks like I grabbed six. Cool. And some spacers. Let's uh, play in a bracelet here. Let's um, maybe do something like this for a center focal bead spacer and something purple, purple, maybe an actual purple spacer bead. Nah, don't look right. It don't look good with two purples, that's for sure. Spacer bead. And then let's go with the two purples there. And then let's go and finish it with a couple of these. And then let's see what we've got. Let's see what color we want to use. How about we just stick with this gold. Get me off a of length. That should be plenty. Like so. And who knows, we might make earrings to go with it. Let's pull up four non blondes. What's up? How's that? Um, I also need. Let's go with. One, two, we're going to need this. I have those, oh, that's not silver. There we go. And then I need a bigger one to clasp into. There we go. We have it all out. Let's put this together, guys. I'm going to start by... Well, let's clip it. I'm not sure how I want to do this. I need... I don't think I used the ones that were out here, so I need to get some more of these. I know I want the B in the middle, but I'm thinking I want one of these on either side of him. Let's try that. And then I want to put a bead cap so it's facing the bead. A sea foam and a purple sea foam spacer. And I'm adding a sea foam. We'll 
Come on. There it is. Purple. Purple. And then two more seafoam. Let's see how that looks. Oh, I like it. So let's make sure I, I can get more, more of these out. So let's go ahead and continue with that pattern of two purple. Oh, you know what? Maybe I want to put a spacer. And then let's get some more of these loose. And loose they are everywhere. <laughs> and I'm going to clip this end and go from here. So I have a sea foam. Whoops, I forgot to put my bead cap sea foam. Purple, sea foam, spacer, sea foam, two spacers, whoops, Two of these, and I added a spacer. And two more sea foam. Let's see what my length is. Because that's looking pretty close. Oh, we got quite a ways to go. Let's go ahead and add a purple. A sea foam and a purple. And do the same on the other side. Purple, sea foam, purple. And let's go ahead and check that for length. We are just a hair above six inches. That is perfect. Let's go ahead and crimp this. We'll scoot all this together off to the side that goes back in the box. So we're going to use two of these. We're going to put on our clamshell a crimp tube. I'm going to crimp right at the end of that. And then smush, smush. Make sure it's on there tight. Bring our clamshell up. Close it. Give it a gentle hug there. Squeeze tight on this. Slide it all down. And now we're going to put, I have lost the clamshell. It has disappeared. There we are. Open this up so we can get in there. Drop it down. We're going to make this go round in circles. Of course, it doesn't want to stay put. So we're going to put our pliers on it. And then we're going to put a crimp tube on I know you can do it go in there flatten it down
tug test. It's holding, so I'm going to clip off our extra. Plenty to use on another project. Fold. Close and smoosh together. We're going to use on this end a four millimeter. Open it and I always have ready um, in different colors. I have everything from one inch to three inch. Um, extenders because some people don't want that extender dangling on their jewelry there we go And we close it up. And there is a really quick and easy, cute bracelet. Oh my gosh, I love that bracelet. That is so pretty. Okay, I'm going to clean up my mess. Okay, so I am back and I did say I was going to... Um, make a pair of earrings. So I'm going to go ahead and um, do that. And I was like, gosh, there's got to be something good to listen to while I do these. But how about meatloaf, guys? So, you know, I had asked earlier what everybody listens to. And like I said, I listen to everything. I grew up listening to Beach Boys, Beatles, you name it. Um, I don't know if this is going to not fall through. It doesn't. It's, it's very quick. I'm using those seafoam faceted again. And I'm putting the little bees facing down. Because we don't want the bees to fly into our ears or our hair. So we're going to face them down. Another little bead. I almost kind of want to put a seed bead here. Let me grab two little seed beads. I really don't want... I have these um, 11 O's. They're a galvanized aluminum. I think that'd be better than the bright gold. I just need a couple. One, two, just to give it a more finished look. A seed bead does so much for your jewelry. Look at, look at how much better that looks. So I'm making sure it's up all the way. I'm going to pinch right there. And I'm going to double check my length. I'm going to clip that off. I'm going to make a very tiny you know, smaller loop. I'm going to come back here and then I'm going to close that loop. And it didn't close all the way, so I'm still going to come in with my pliers and just go ahead and close it. Because you don't want your earring to fall off your um, ear wire. There you go. And I'm just going to put my ear wire on. And he is so cute. I'm debating if I need to put him on a jump ring. I think I will. Just because I think he'll hang much nicer. 
So we're just going to use small jump rings. I think they just will hang better. Oh my goodness, open the jump ring, Laura, and it'll go on. So this will probably be my last project because we're about at an hour, guys. Um, I might look at one more tray. Oh, he's not really closed. He's pulling some trickery there. It's slipping in my pliers and that's not helping. Okay. Oh, that swings so much nicer. And then we'll just close up our, there's that one, again, bead cap, seafoam bead, purple faceted bead, little bee, purple faceted, I'm going to finish it off with a little 11 0 galvanized seed bead. And I'm going to pinch it off right about there. And I'm going to roll a loop. And then I'm going to roll it backwards. And I want to close that up. Okay, that one closed. I'm going to put it on a jump ring. Close that up. And I will straighten that up. It is crooked. There we go. He's nice and straight now. And right through that jump ring. And then close that up. I am going to put my backs on. I didn't have them handy when I did the other pair of earrings. So there they are. They are so cute. I love them. Getting closer for you guys. They're so cute. I love them. Let's see if I can find one more thing to make. Okay, so this is Bargain Bead Box. And this tray is a mix of January, February, and March. So this is all like January. And February and March got thrown together. And you know what? I love these beads. These are right here. What do we got? Let me get these all out. I'm going to make a necklace. It'll be a quick one. I promise. And then I'm going to call it quits. I'm not using those. I want to use this toggle. Where's the rest of it? There's a toggle bar. All right. I like the way that looks. Yeah, 
that came up out. Oh, heck with it. I'm not fighting with it. <laughs> I can lay down. Uh, what else can we put in here? How about some of these? Oh, I never used these. Oh, there's our focal. And we can use that pinch bail. Hmm. I would like some kind of contrast, though. You know, we really didn't get any, like, one... I don't want the gold ones. I'm just going to have to hold what I don't want in my hand, I guess. Oh, I forgot we had those. This is what happens when you decide that you're going to go through your stash and just start feeding everything. I think that's it. All right, let's close this up and let's make a necklace. So, grab a dish. There's those. Here's all of these. This and this and this. I'm going to use my brown. Beading wire, pinch bail that, um, our main focus is going to be the focal with that, um, let's get these off here, I don't know if I'm going to use them. I know I'm going to be using some of these. Let's get some off. Which way's end? <laughs> okay, let's start with that. How many do I have? One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five, six, six. Add uh, even numbers. Let's go five and a pair of earrings. And. Focal. We're going to need to ride on a couple. And then one, two, three on each side. All right. I know I'm probably out of frame a little bit here, guys. Sorry. I'm going to bring all this up so you can see what I'm kind of doing. So this is my idea to start with. First, let's put this pinch bail on. Doesn't look like it's thick enough. Ugh. Just dropped it. And mine has this little like dark inclusion right there. Is there a front and back on this? No. Okay. Nice and free flowing. We've got that. Um, I'm going to go ahead and get me a length of brown cut off. 
It's more than I need, but that's okay. When I'm out here beading just for myself, I use all my scraps up. Because you don't see everything I do. You see some of it, but not everything. Um, and I'm just going to clip one end like that. Because I don't know what I'm doing. I know this is going to be in the middle. We're going to put on one, two, and the bale is going to be riding on that, like so. I think it's actually only going to ride on one, so I need one. And then I need three on each side. like so and then I'm putting one of the big beads so it's going to look like that so far so I need to put three of these I saw the hole and it disappeared. There it is. And a big one. And I think I'm going to use, ooh, right here in the front, we're gonna put a, is it too soon to do that? Yes, too soon. Let's use a bead cap. And then I'm going to do a series of, let's say seven of these. Because I don't think those brighter green will look right in here. I don't know, they might. Let's let's get a couple off. Let's see how that looks. It actually looks really nice. Let's go with the flow. Two, whoops. So that gives me five of those. And let's go ahead and do three more. I like it. And then I'm gonna take, um, I'm not gonna, I don't think I'm gonna be cap. Let's try B cap and see if what I'm about to do looks right or if I need to take it out. B cap, bead, chunky spacer. Another bead. B cap. Ooh, I love it. Okay. Absolutely love it. So I may end up using all six. <laughs> all right, we need to get a ton more beads out here, guys. 
yeah, this is going to turn into a full project here. And now we're going to do Two, three, one, two. Do I have enough chunky spacers to do it twice? I need one for this side. Yes, I do. Woohoo! Okay. Game on. Let's get more of these off. And of course, I grabbed the wrong end, guys. So I have two on, three, four, five, three more of these little guys, one, two, three. I'm going to do that again. Hmm. I'm thinking. I think I'm just going to go B cap, bead, B cap, do it again, I have to think guys. I think I've got it right. So that one's going to be single, then there's going to be a double, then there's going to be a single, then there's going to be a double. I think it's right. If not, I will pause you guys. So that is my uh, goal. And then three more. Ah, they just won't go on and I'm shaking like a leaf. Um, they put me on a medication, kind of temporary medication and I take it twice a day and it's like really bothering me. So hopefully when this is done running its course, I won't be so shaky. One, two, three, Oops. Four. Five. Get you on there. One. And now I'm going to do bead cap, bead, chunky spacer, bead, bead cap. I love it. And then we're going to go um, one, two, three, four, five, six, 
one. Oh, I thought there was. There it is. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six. Where are you? Seven. I think that's how we're going to finish it. Right there. And I'm going to clip the other end because I want to measure it before I do anything else. So I'm going to clip it and I'm going to bring you back after I'm done stringing it. Okay, so here is the finished product. I have one bead left, which kind of worries me. <laughs> but I think I had a bead kind of hidden because I've got everything is even. I've got one, two, one, and two. So I made sure of that. I'm going to go ahead and clamp this off. Put my clamshell through the bottom, out through its mouth. Put a crimp tube on the end, get my pliers, and I got to thank everybody. If you stuck to the end, let me know, and I want to thank you guys so very much. I'm going to close this, give it a tug test, close it, and then really squeeze down so they stay together. And we're going to let all this flow all the way down to the very end. This is absolutely gorgeous. Absolutely gorgeous. Take this off. I'm going to take and grab my other clamshell. Open it up wide. And I'm not going to have a whole lot left over. I want to make this so that I can get into that clamshell. We're going to go right up through there. Let it drop into the crimp tube. I'm double checking, make sure there's no bare wire hanging. This um, is absolutely great. I can't believe how this turned out. Just grabbing beads and throwing things together. Sometimes, you know, I don't even look at bargain bead boxes page anymore. Um, there's so much bickering going on there. And I don't know, guys. It's It's gotten very negative. And... I just stay away from it. And it's like some of the people that are on there now are like, you know, I don't know. It's 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 strange. It has changed. Let's get our piece up there where we can see it. I've got my whoops. I buried my jump rings. And we're going to put, get everything out here. So I think that, you know, I was always going on it and stuff. And it made it hard to be, you know, used to go on it for inspiration. But I think it actually made it difficult for me to design a piece. Because I would see everything that everybody else was making. And I was like, well, I don't want to make what they're making. And it it's like it muddied the waters for me. Did you see what I just did? 
I cannot believe I did that. So we're going to put our <laughs> toggle on. Our, our, uh, this part of it. You know, it like muddied the waters. Kind of put me in a funk where I didn't know what to make because I didn't want to make what everybody else made or you know, I would come up with a design in my head and go on and somebody's already made almost the same exact thing. So I didn't want to make what they were making, you know, that kind of thing. You know, so I haven't even looked at it. So anyways... Oops. There we go. So there is the last piece that we are going to make. Let me clean up my table. Okay, so I believe I made six pieces of jewelry. There is one necklace. I absolutely love this one. I may not sell it. But I don't wear jewelry, guys. Not much. I wear bracelets. Um, I hardly ever wear necklaces. We made this seafoam bracelet. Let's get this up in here a little bit farther. We made two pairs of earrings. We made the seafoam ones with the little bees. We made the peace ones because they were laying here on my table, by my table, and I wanted them out of my way. And then I made this gorgeous water drop one. And I love it. I absolutely love. And it doesn't matter which way they go, really. They can go in. They can go out. However they wish. They are so cute. I love that. Those London blues with the clear crystals and then that blue crystal dangle. And then I made this beautiful um i believe this is um autumn jasper so pretty so pretty so there are the items that i made today i absolutely love them all especially this one this is my favorite i love all of them and it's just going through my beads throwing stuff together voila got me some jewelry <sighs> I may have to make another one of these for myself. Yes, it's a possibility. I just love the way that turned out with that little bee in there. All right, guys, thank you so much. If you made it to the end, I love you. <laughs> Bye, guys.